Hey traders, it's Jeffrey from Ninja Caters. Today I'm going to show you how to use and master market replay and playback on your Ninja Trader 8 platform. I know that many of you use SIM to practice your trading or a new strategy while you're connected to the market, but there's a better way to practice, and that's with real data that you can download and playback over and over again. So here's how it works. First, you need to download the data from the instrument that you'd like to practice. For example, say you want to practice a strategy using the MNQ or the NQ as the instrument. Here's what you need to do. First, go to your NT8, open up your Ninja Trader, okay? And you'll get your, your uh, um, control panel just like this. And you need to connect to any data feed that you'd like, okay? You can use your Rhythmic if you have a live account that's self-funded, um, Apex if you're on a prop firm or whichever prop firm you're using, or even kinetic end-of-day data, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's connect to kinetic, for example. And once you're connected in, okay, then in the control panel, you're going to click Tools and Historical Data, okay, right here. Now, once that opens, you're going to get this window, okay? Then in the field, excuse me, in the bottom left, you're going to click on the Get Market Replay Data right there, okay? Now, we use market replay data over historical data, as you see over here, because it's more accurate. Then in the field that opens up down below, you're going to type in the instrument only that you want and double click on the box that opens. So for example, let's go ahead and type in NQ and then in this selection box that opens down here, just pick NQ future. Okay. Once you select on that double left click and you'll see it pops in with the most current date for this contract okay now if you want to click and uh, load a previous one let's say you want to practice on the contract from three months ago then just type that in directly for example you can type nq 03-24 and you're going to get that contract's information okay you can do any contract any month any year okay but let's just do the current one that's the easiest to make sure that you're always getting the most recent NQ, oops, what happened? There we go. Now, next step, you go to the date field right here and choose whatever date you'd like to start with. Okay, so for example, let's go back to the beginning of the month on April 1st. If I click on that, then I click the download button and you'll see it's loading all of the data from that day. Now, you can only do one day at a time. So you're just going to have to do it over and over again. Then we go to the second, click download, and then so on and so forth for whichever days you like. Now, you can check which files you've downloaded by clicking on the plus symbol next to the market replay right there, okay? And then click on whatever instrument you'd like to check. As you can see, I've got lots of practice data in here. But for example, let's look for the NQ, the 624 current contract. Click on that once, and here's all the data that I've downloaded. Okay, if you just downloaded two days, you'll only see those two days that, that, that are right there. Okay, now you can come back at any other time and download more data and instruments. Just remember to connect to live data first. Okay, now, now that you have all the data that you want to practice with, in the connections tab in the control panel you're going to disconnect from the data feed and click on the playback connection okay so let's close that window first we go to the connections fin we disconnect from the live data you'll see once it disconnects that green light will go out oh. there we go and then you're going to connect to the playback connection okay once the playback connection window opens You've already used this window connected to live data, so just continue. hit continue. And once you've hit, clicked on continue, then the playback dashboard opens, 
and we'll go to usually a date that's two weeks back if you've got data for that far. If you've only downloaded a couple of days, it should go to the first day that you've downloaded already. Okay. Now, once the playback window has opened, then you're going to go ahead and open your workspace. So let's choose a workspace. And give the, um, the workspace a chance for the data to load. Go ahead and click that. Now we've got data starting back on, in my case, 411. Now, the playback dashboard works like any music player or DVD player. So you've got a button to click play or pause, the same one button. You can change the time, make it faster or slow it down. You can't uh, go slow motion, only um, full speed or multiple speed so you can do it two times normal three four six ten fifteen twenty etc okay and that's helpful if you want to jump ahead a little bit okay and here's a great part you can um, right click right in the window and click go to and choose whatever time you'd like to start okay so for example if we're starting on this particular day it comes in at 12 a.m but let's say I want to start when the market opens at 930. So I just change the time. And hit OK. Wait for it to update. And as soon as it, uh, it changes from being grayed out to, to a regular view, then the data has loaded. And this is now in real time. As you can see, once you hit play, you can trade as you normally would. Here are the trades coming in. Okay, let's sell. Uh, you can use Chart Trader as you normally would. Let's just sell the market. We can change our take profits, move our stop loss. And we can speed up or slow down just like that and close and you're out or in on whatever trade you'd like. Now, let's say that you missed a trade and you want to practice that one over again. This is at 9.32. This trade started right around 9.30. Let's push pause and let's go back to 9.30 and see if we can spot the beginning of this trade and try to capture it. So change the time, hit OK, wait for it to reset. Oh, let's go back a little bit further. How's that? There we go. So we're looking to try to get into this trade. And we're at 10 speed. And we've just practiced that same trade over again. Go ahead and close that. Now, the only thing I would say to be wary of is trying to do too much in one playback session. For example, if you try to look at multiple instruments at the same time on multiple charts, it's going to slow your playback down. Let's say you want to speed up to 10 times to go further ahead. It might only go up by one or two times, okay? So there's a, a limit to how much data the playback engine can handle. I usually only open a single instrument at a time with one window to do to, to practice uh, or test out a new strategy um, and, and do that only one at a time in any playback session. That way, you're going to get the most optimal performance. That's it, traders. Master using market replay and the playback connection to practice your trading, and you will be amazed at how it will improve your performance and your success rate. Good trading, and I'll see you next time.